Hi, another episode here with AI Late to Class, and I'm testing the new Ditto model with WAN 2.1 base in Confi UI. So I showcased the Lucy Edit model about three weeks back, and we've been able to use Vase to do style transfer for a while now, but neither of those have the quality output of this new Ditto model, which combines both. What you're looking at here in Confi UI is a cartoon, and then it's just been turned into a real person and a real cat. I have not seen any product do anything like this, so this by itself is really cool. That's without the other features. But anyway, I'm going to go through the install, and I'm going to show you all the different style transfers and local edits that you can do to video the style transfers are amazing i think this is the best at that even better than any of the commercial products so stay watching so here we are on the ditto web page i'll just play some of these samples <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. This is sort of similar to what Runway started out with, but I think it's doing a far better result with that. If you come down here, there's a few more to have a look at. There's already things written in the prompts there that you can use, such as Lego style, or statue style, things like that. Got local editing here where they're just doing certain items. This one's just adding a deer in. So you can just put things into the footage that you want or change clothing and that. Going back to Confi UI, how did I get this to happen? Just come over here and there's a list at the start on this workflow. Remember the workflow will be in the comments. And on the note here, I've just got this prompt here, right? We copy that one and then we go over to the text encoder here and we just paste it in here, turn it into a real domain. Now, with this particular one, we need to put in a specific model just for this style, right? And it's ditto sim to real. So I'm going to show you how to get that later on. But everything else is what you normally do. We just upload our video. We've got our one text to video 14B FP8 model there. We have our one 2.1 cause vid text to V. So this is our speed up LoRa. And we've got a one 2.1 VAE. We've got our UMT5 text encoder. So because we've got all the same old models plus this extra one here, which is another 6 gigabyte, if you've got below 16 gigabyte of VRAM, you may not be able to run this workflow. So if you do have low VRAM, I do have the block swap on here. You could try a text-to-video GGUF, like a Q2 model, and that might help you get this going. This does use the VASE encode node, so you could get quite experimental there with your reference images and things like that. So, looking at the code here on the GitHub page, there's not a lot here. If you've used Confi UI and done WAN 2.1 before, there's not much you need to do. If we go down here... We've got all the same models we usually did, which I've just gone over. Text to video, cause vid, VAE, text encoder. The only new ones is these ones here on the hugging face. So you come over here and you've got three models of this ditto. Right, the one I just used was this ditto sim to real. So that turns cartoons to real things. This one here is the one that does style transfers. So turn people into cartoons sort of thing. And this is an all over one, right, which will do basically the style transfer and it's the one I'm going to show using. There is a local one that hasn't been put up yet, so that's basically if you want to change someone's shirt to a different colour, that's the one that we really need. You can do it within here, but we're waiting for the local one which has been specific to that feature. All three of these models go in the Diffusion Models folder in your Confi UI Models folder. 
if we come back here if you don't know about these other ones this umt5 goes in your text encoder the vae goes in the vae folder the laura goes in the laura folder and this fba also goes in your diffusion models folder make sure you update conf ui if you get red boxes around your nodes you'll need to use the manager to install missing nodes these are the nodes you actually need you should have them if you've used one before if you haven't you need to go through and download these through the manager if you can't go through the manager click on there and do some pip installs on these ones but make sure they're all up to date here's my example using local edit so i've uploaded normal video and i'll just show you what the prompt is here turn the woman into a superhero with glowing powers with armored suits reflective metal trims energy all around fantasy particles so didn't quite do that did some of it i guess when the local model comes out i'll get a better result but that's okay it still did something different now i'm using the other model over here this ditto global everything else stays the same for the rest of the video i'm just going to keep the same global ditto model and i'm just going to change my prompt so on this one i've got render the subject as a classical subject carved from a single block of pristine white marble and here's what that did pretty good i don't like these lines at the back though now i've just grabbed the prompts from the note at the side like this one make it a pencil sketch style video and this is the result i've got and i'm very happy with this I've used another pencil style with a different video this time. Now I've chosen the comic style from the list. This is claymation style. It looks a little bit more like 3D model, but could be used for something. Now Kaijo is working on some LoRa's for this, so in a few days we might be able to just use the LoRa's instead of having the model. So for those of you that have the low VRAM, that's going to work in your favour there. Anyway, that's enough for me. Um, like, subscribe, watch some past videos, and we'll see you in the next one.